won't do anything that Israel disapproves. Uh, and that's because they're so guilty about the Holocaust that Israel has so manipulated them that they don't care. Let the U.S. attack Iraq. As you know, that was an, that's an important goal of Israel foreign policy. And so the, and the Iraq war and is, you know, needless to say, a watershed in a modern history. And, and here you see it being enabled, again, impunity, uh, by this kind of event. So you have this kind of trump card that is played to overcome any resistance to Israeli aggression. And believe me, we have to, we have to deal with that, of course. This is bad for Israel, bad for the Jewish people in the worst possible way. Just a couple of last points. Uh, what has happened to the uh, victims of the Holocaust? Well, there's still about a quarter of a million of them in Israel. Um, would you believe that these people are not happy? Um, that these people feel abused? Um, how can that be? Well, it can be this way, because the Zionist goal was to use the Holocaust, but not really to appreciate or feel for it. And what they wanted was a phrase that kept coming up over and over again. We want good human material to build our Jewish state. We want people who can man the woman, the military. We don't want victims. So ideologically, everything is a Jew is the innocent victim. In practice, we don't want any part of it. And from the very beginning, the most innumerable contradictions in which the Israeli state has suffered has been the uh, neglect of its own Holocaust victims. Last year, uh, Quite a few stories in the press. <coughs> you can follow them, you can get them on Google, and, uh, and one, <coughs> uh, this is from last July, from the, uh, from the BBC, uh, that the Israeli government was uh, generously increasing the stipend of the uh, survivors of the uh, <coughs> Holocaust by twenty dollars equivalent a month. Um, and uh, this provoked outrage. And you know, they, they started demonstrating. They started demonstrating against the the uh, government, the Holocaust survivors themselves, saying we're treated better in Germany. We're treated better everywhere else. Israel treats us worse than any country on earth. And as one, this is a quote from one of the one of the demonstrators. The Israeli government does not understand quote, the significance of the Holocaust and its horrors. If they did, they wouldn't propose this absurd and insulting plan. You know, it's tokenism. You know, because there's no social services or minimal social services. They don't have enough money. They're literally hungry, and they literally want to leave and go to Germany. Okay. Quite a nice piece of irony. So just by way of conclusion, I want to just emphasize this and make a question. Um, because of these peculiar identities, you have the Israeli state emerging out of this common interest and the need for building the utopian so-called socialist, national, it's the same kind of socialism, national socialism, nationalist socialism, Zayar Sternhoff calls it in his wonderful book, The Founding Myths of Israel. But it's the same socialism grounded in the organic relationship of the, of the workers to the soil and in the priority of Jewish labor and, and, the, you know, and, the, and the utter rejection of Palestinians as human beings. So they founded a racist state, just like Nazi Germany. Uh, and because they were deeply uh, you know, connected to that project, they identify with them, and there's no question. And the more sensitive people within Israel say, you know, we're behaving like Nazis. This is happening again and again. Why are we behaving, not, behaving like Nazis? Because you have basically the same kind of state formation. The same kind of state formation, <coughs> which in Nazi Germany's case, went through two phases with, with respect to this hated object. One, 
ethnic cleansing, get the Jews out of Europe, get the Jews out of Germany, and two, extermination. And we see certainly the ethnic cleansing being repeated in Palestine because of the same logic of things. And as for the extermination, well, I don't think it's going to go to that because the balance of forces is very different. But there is always talk of transfer, final solutions, all that kind of thing, getting them out entirely. Getting Palestinians out entirely. That is a never ending shadow. It's the shadow of the Holocaust, the Holocaust that Zionism used and abused at the same time. And so this is one of the most important, very difficult jobs for, for people solid in solidarity movements, people who, who realize how awful the Holocaust was, to begin to detach themselves from the abuses of that Holocaust that were made and have been made and continue to be made by Zionist movements in the state of Israel.